Hi, I'm Matthew Setter and welcome to Refactoring to Clean Code with PHP Storm. I've been a developer for about 20 years now and have been developing with PHP, believe it or not, since version 3 when it didn't even have OOP support. It is my pleasure, my friend, to be your teacher in this series. In this series, you're going to learn how to use a range of PHP Storm's refactoring functionality along with some inspections and intentions, as well as some clean code principles and best practices to improve the quality of some rather ordinary code. By doing this, the code will end up being much more maintainable and professional. If you're not familiar with the term refactoring, it's when we progressively clean up code, for example, by renaming variables to give them more meaning, splitting long methods, into a series of shorter ones to make them easier to follow and keep in our short-term memory, reducing long parameter lists, and removing dead or duplicate code. Now we could refactor the code by hand. However, using PHP Storm will make the process quicker and less error prone. To follow along with this series, you're only going to need three things. These are PHP 7.4, the latest version of PHP Storm, and a clone of the GitHub repository for this series, which is available at github.com forward slash setter mjd forward slash basic hyphen parcel hyphen tracker hyphen service. You can see it here on the screen. To save a bit of time, I'm going to clone the repository directly in PHP Storm to create a new project. First, I'll copy the repository URL and then back in PHP Storm, I'll click get from version control and paste the GitHub URL into the URL field and click clone. Shortly after that, the repository is cloned and a new project window is opened, ready to use. The code that we'll be working with throughout this series is part of a simplistic parcel tracking service developed using PHP's Mesio framework. I've used Mesio to help make the code as real world as I could and to give it a greater sense of structure. That said, you don't need to have experience developing with Mesio, as you could put the code into almost any modern PHP framework, such as Symfony or Laravel, with a minimum of changes. I chose Mesio as it's the framework which I'm most familiar with. Just so that you know though, however, there will be some framework-specific refactoring throughout this series, but I've tried to avoid doing that as much as possible. Now, let's get an overview of the application. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it does somewhat imitate real-world parcel tracking services, which you might be familiar with, such as UPS, DHL, Australia Post, and Royal Mail. Here in PHP Storm, I'll create a new HTTP request. Then, I'll build the request so that it makes a GET request to forward slash parcel forward slash v1, and then pass it the parcel ID of TN1032167AU. Now the parcel ID has to start with the characters T and N, be followed by a nine digit number, and then end with a two character country code, such as AU, DE, CZ or NZ. After running the request, you can see that it's returned a JSON response. Scrolling to the top of the response, you can see that the request succeeded because there's an HTTP 1.1200 OK status code. If I scroll through the JSON response, we can see that it was picked up from the supplier in Melbourne, Australia, and a delivery was attempted in Brisbane, Australia. Unfortunately, the customer wasn't at home at the time. Scrolling further, we can see that the parcel is a book, along with some specifics of it, such as its description, format, language, and name. Now, let's have a look at the state which the code is currently in. If we look inside the handle method of parcel tracking service handler, which handles requests to the sole endpoint, we can see some pretty nasty code. You can see that it's the old cram everything into a single controller action style of code. What's more, it commits several clean code sims, such as nested ifs, poorly named variables, copy pasted code, magic variables, multiple return statements, and negative conditionals. The code starts by retrieving the parcel ID from the route through a call to the request object's get attribute method. It does this because 
Here in the route definition, we've defined a route variable, or attribute, called parcel underscore ID. Going back to parcel tracking service handler, if the tracking number is not null, then the method attempts to retrieve a JSON file matching the supplied tracking number from the directory defined in the DIR variable. Then it returns the contents as a JSON response, along with the relevant HTTP status code and other headers such as content type. Now, as a bit of background, JSON response objects return an HTTP text response, which is a JSON formatted string, along with the content type header set to application slash JSON, and unless otherwise specified, an HTTP 200 status code. Now, getting back to the code itself, sadly, how the code does all these things is pretty darn ugly. However, doing this gives us a lot of scope, I think, for a fun video series where we're going to turn this code around, ably helped by PHP Storm's refactoring functionality and its intentions and inspections. If you're not too experienced with refactoring code yet, here are three excellent resources to get you started. Firstly, there's Refactoring Guru. Now, this is an excellent site which makes it easy for you to discover everything that you need to know about refactoring, design principles, solid principles, and other smart programming topics. Next up, there's Refactoring by Martin Fowler. This is an excellent book, one which I highly, highly recommend. If you've not read it, it shows you how to transform code safely and effectively. And last but not least, there's Clean Code PHP. This is a GitHub repository where you can learn about clean code principles, but in a PHP specific context. For example, you should use meaningful and pronounceable variable names, use explanatory variables, avoid negative conditionals, prefer final classes, remove dead code, and that method names should say what they do. Now that we've had a solid introduction to the series and you have everything that you need, in the next video, we'll get started with the first refactoring. I'll see you then.